The League of Nations, which had lost its influence during World War II, was dissolved. At the beginning of 1945, the United Nations, or the UN, was established in its place. Once again, defeated states could not immediately join this new global organization. The UN's objective is to maintain international peace and security. Its leader is the Secretary General, and its principal bodies are the General Assembly and the Security Council. Winners in World War II received permanent membership on the Council. They also enjoyed veto power. Peace talks after World War II were held in Paris in 1946. Their importance were minor, as the most significant issues had already been decided. Decisions that had been made in Potsdam took precedence. So the Soviet Union was able to retain the territories it had occupied at the beginning of the war, like the Baltic states. Poland was pushed a bit westward on the map. Its eastern lands were given to the Soviets, and Poland was compensated with some German areas. Winning powers like the United Kingdom and France were so worn out that they were hardly able to become involved in international affairs. The other two victorious nations, the United States and the Soviet Union, had become incredibly strong and turned into superpowers. The world was now divided into two opposing sides. The Soviet Union did everything in its power to establish a communist dictatorial regime in the states in which it had spread its influence. With some Soviet help, the communists pushed aside liberal parties and by 1949 a Stalinist dictatorship had been set up in all the countries under Soviet control.